what are your next steps or what are, what is like something you say this is where i want to go i will, i i have never stopped never started stopping smoking cigarettes i I've said to myself, I want to stop before I'm 30. This, that are, this is a step, step I want to undertake in my life. Before I'm 30, I want to stop smoking cigarettes. And I'm thinking... Okay, and, I'm and thinking, why 30? Because I um, read a study about uh, a scientist who said to who research people that have, that have smoked their whole life and people that, that haven't smoked, and smoked their whole, whole life. And... The conclusion of the study was that people who stop before they're 30, they have the same function and life expectancy on their 70. So if you stop oh, smoking before you're 30 and then you become 70, you're the same person as someone who has never smoked in his life. So that's that's that's, uh, that's, the, that's the end goal. That's the end goal. And you think you can just stop it like that, or what is the plan? You're gonna quit? Are you gonna do it less, or? Mm. That's a good question. Maybe cold turkey. I'm. I'm not thinking about it. Maybe uh, I'm. I'm reading a book. Maybe um, a podcast about stopping smoking. Maybe there is someone who wants to stop smoking cigarettes with me. That would be also be nice. Then you are together in your struggle. Yeah. There's no plan yet. So like, 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 it's more about. I think that's that's a a good, um, a good method that you uh, said there called Turkey. Um, but I don't know if it works all the time. So for me, I don't think it would work. Um, but I've seen people for who it worked. So. I think yeah, you need a lot of systems in place to make it work. Maybe. Um, if I can give That's you one true. advice, um, I, I'm not saying that I know how to secure <laughs> to quit an addiction. Definitely not. Um, but uh, what I'm trying now um, is to actually yes. um, write down where I want to go. So for me, this would be being sober four days a week from Monday mm -hmm. to Thursday. Um, and every time I achieve that, I think I, yeah, I think that's, that's a good. win already. You know, I don't have to quit it. I don't have to, I can smoke as much as I want in the weekends and on Friday. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't see myself cold turkey quitting it. And I don't know, maybe it's just addiction speaking to me, but I also don't feel like I need that. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work, man. I'm just uh, second week in or something. <laughs> well, I've been actually busy with it for months. Um, I started. Good, eh? I started not smoking like the first month one hour a day, the second month two hours a day, third month okay. three hours a day. So I've really steadily built it up, but in the last weeks it was like more difficult again because I went on vacation and. Uh, I've yeah. also like, yeah, I've had some rough days before, um, and then into a, then you realize it's very difficult. Um, so now I've forced myself to take the big leap and d just do the four days not smoking. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll see about to how, the, how that's going. Eh? Um, I'll quickly show you uh, my screen, yeah. my. Uh, Okay. It's probably a few seconds delay. Um, but I actually wrote down what I want to achieve in a week. Um, nice. It's something, yeah. Just a whiteboard that hangs in front of me the whole time. And I can actually okay. write down and look what I achieved last week. So now it's kind of showing, I think. Oh, a bit downwards. Um, so yeah, I want to do like one hour a week mind clearing, reflection, two hours a okay. week reading a book, uh, sporting for five, five hours a week, and then no smoking from Monday till Thursday. I think it will come up in just a second. Um, so I can actually write down what I achieve, what I do, and uh, it's it looks kind of silly. 
right? You don't always have to achieve every step every week, but if you if you reach two of the four steps or two of the four steps, that's a win also. Oh, that's definitely true. Um, and I think this is important for people that want to handle their addiction. Like, if you fail one day or you you like I had bad week and I smoked the whole week, I guess. I get, kind of gave up on the plan. It doesn't mean that all the effort that you did before is lost. Like, um, that's true. The idea is still there, and you're still working towards a better self of you, of a better version of yourself. Um, but sometimes it feels like, like, what am I working towards? You know, I don't know if you feel that way yet because you haven't really tackled the addiction yet for your part. I think. Um, but I feel like this is, yeah, I feel like this is maybe something that um, becomes more relevant when you kick the addiction. Um, yeah. That you question your choices and that you're back at your sober self again. And you have to deal with all these problems that you're kind of pushing away or not addressing fully. Um, and I think it's difficult to pick up on that. It kind of feels like a whole mountain that I have to move. It feels like that, but every time you take a step, it's a step fo forward. Huh? Yeah, definitely. So I think the visualization is for me really important that I just can yeah, look at so my boards and that I yeah, see. Yeah, the whiteboard is really the good thing. Yeah, I can just see, okay, this thing I've done this week, I've completed that. Um, it's definitely not easy, um, especially when you're talking about smoking a cigarette after your dinner. I'm like, hmm, I went to kind of yeah. smoke a doobie after this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not easy, but life, life is not easy. Yeah? No, that's definitely true. Um, I wouldn't want it easy, otherwise I would be happy already. Maybe I can give an uh, analogy um, I to, see it now. or a metaphor to how, like, this is maybe something a bit more random, but um, mm -hmm. the relationship with my dad was not always um, very good. And at some point mm -hmm. in our lives, um, we went to like a, a kind of therapist or whatever, somebody that listens to you. Mm -hmm. and, and we were like, kind of like in between, like, he wants this for me, I want this for me. Um, I see a different path than he's walking and he says like my path will end up in, in failure or whatever, um, that I will not achieve the things that I want to achieve. And I get that as a dad that he's like, he wants to have the best for me and that uh, he feels like I was going on a bad path. And in a sense, he was definitely right. Um, but where I wanted to go with is this kind of analogy that uh, that this person, this therapist gave to us. And it's like yes. this big river that we have. And everybody is, is there on with the boat on the river. And we have these people that's, that, that were like me, that are just like floating down the river, looking left and right. Not really, not really interested in going anywhere, but just enjoying the road and where life takes them. Not really struggling, not really putting in effort, just happy where they are. And I think, mm -hmm. like I said in the beginning, this is a very neutral way of living. Um, I don't think you have much ups and downs in your life and you have much to look forward or to look back on. But I definitely get why people would choose, uh, choose this kind of lifestyle. And... In contrast to that was my dad, who was like the total opposite of it. All his, his whole life he has been rowing and pedaling from one side to the other, trying to get that, that, and he's always busy trying to get the next thing, trying to complete the next thing. He finishes something, he goes to the next thing, and that was like a lifestyle that really did not... Um, I could not see myself doing that. like. I want to enjoy life, I want to sit back, I want to relax, smoke a joint and appreciate what I have. 
and this was very um visual of us of how we're living and i think this is a good analogy for how addiction is like we can be this kind of boat going down the river not really caring just accepting where we are and where we're going but i feel like there is more to life than that and that's why i'm also trying to kick this addiction that i feel like True. once in a while i can pedal a bit more like hey that looks like a nice bank uh, to set up camp let's go there and then uh stay there for the night smoke a joint on the uber and just enjoy where you are at that moment and what you achieved so i think that's kind of the the way i'm going forward that i want to put in effort even though it doesn't take me anywhere directly even though it doesn't give fruits immediately i think putting in effort and you seeing where you get is just the first step towards actually kicking it i think true so yeah that's the last thing maybe i wanted to do, to share maybe you have something uh similar or an, uh, an a wisdom that you said this helped me in my life except or like that i was and that was addictive to something or uh that's a good analogy um yeah i just wanted to, to share that because it really helped for me my dad to like kind of accept each other like okay he is this way i'm that way and as i grew older i, I kind of want to be more like him and i think he wants to be a bit more like me like i see that he's really trying to take more time for themselves yeah. yeah and that they that he sees the value in how, how i was living and i see the value in how he is living and i think that way we're kind of growing a bit closer to each other in in that we understand each other better and i want to achieve more things in in my life and i think he wants to relax and calm down and take a step back sometimes more in some more times in life so yeah i don't know why but i, I felt like this was a a similar view of how addiction can work on you um, and how it can visually represent your life in that way um, a big river going forward but yeah, yeah maybe uh, visualize it's very clearly yeah this it's nice to visualize it's it's a good way of um yeah but about it. it's not uh it's definitely not a solution uh, it's just uh <laughs> how do you look at it um because yeah your, your dad views it a kind of way and you view it a kind of way and you have different different mentality about it but when somebody tells you you have to look at it like this it gives you another perspective on each yeah it was and it was interesting that in indeed like a outside a person person could actually paint such a visual picture for us um i think it really helped us that day 